Duran Premium Cigars, one of the fastest growing boutique cigar companies, provides smokers a portal into the old Cuban tradition of the perfect balance and the lost art of progressive flavor construction. Roberto Palayo Duran began his career in tobacco over two decades ago in Havana, where his reputation grew within Cuban circles. The creation of Duran Premium Cigars has given Roberto the platform to introduce a series of cigars that offer the quality and construction that he perfected while in Cuba. Brands include the ultra-premium Roberto P. Duran Signature Line, Azan, Nea, and Baracoa. Duran uses a seed dehumidor approach as all of their tobacco is grown in their farms and rolled in their factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Rollers have been carefully chosen to carry out Roberto's precise method to ensure progressive flavor in each cigar. Duran Premium Cigars invites you to make their premium your standard. Stow Your Geeks, episode 251, volume two, right? Yeah. There's three There's three sections today. I'm your host this week, Joe Hozempa, and to my right is Joe D. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, I can tell you, business-wise, it's already happening. The holidays oh, yeah, are up. upon us. The reflection Busy's stage good, though. Busy's good. Is, is upon people. I think this year a lot of people are going to jump into that rush a little early. I can tell you with the business, there's already been a, a little bit of a, you know, gently uh, gently lightening up off the accelerator. Yep. There's a certain lull that comes by, and there's certain hints that go around when people talk about, hey, you know, Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate is coming, and... Uh, I kind of would like this gift, and I was thinking over, over modes the upon us, man. Yeah. I was thinking over the past week about leather cases. Okay, I uh, full disclosure used to have a leather case, used to carry a leather case. I carry cigars around. Um, Talking a three count, five count. Oh, we're gonna get there All because right. uh, oh, what I had right. Uh, it was a six count. Okay. It and then in it, it was a black leather case. It was awesome, right? And then it hold two three counts, and then they had a, a connector that would be a Velcro at the end, and it would flap over. So there would be three and three, but separate cases. Right. Yep. So you can transfer to this if you want. Fits in a suit pocket, yep. uh, crush proof. Uh, other side holds in your lighter, nice snap, everything, satchel, everything. It was awesome um, there. And, uh, you know, uh, had it. I uh, had a dear friend of mine who absolutely positively wanted it, wanted, begging me, begging me, begging me. Uh, he was going through an ant time. I turned around and I said, yo, man, here, take it. He's like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, man, just, just right, and knock, knock yourself out. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's funny because my close friends are like, Jojo, like that that's that was an awesome like, thing. And, and, and for probably, I don't know, five years now, I've been going back and forth that I want a real nice leather case. Because I, I carry my cigars in... The um, I call it the uh, lunchbox right. humidor. Like yep. I have a plastic one, and then in there is a duffel bag, and I have some accessories and stuff like that. You know, in in, in there. So I have because I'm I'm a, I'm a bag person. So you know, have a bag for work, have a bag for yep. the gym, have a bag for the cigars. So oh, yeah. like you know, then I just grab it. So oh, I'm going to Story Geeks. I'll grab this bag, that bag, and out the door I go. So that's how my 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 mode is. But I but I you know. I'm I'm getting into um, specific cutting. I'm getting into uh, cigar scissors. I'm gonna be ca I'm carrying a lot more accessories, and it's funny because now I'm going through my backpack and I'm like putting the accessories in each <laughs> pocket, and then doing that. And I'm carrying my regular work stuff yep. and all of that stuff, and and it's just like I, I need to be compartmentalized. Yeah, yeah condense it down a little. That, bit. that that's just that's yeah. just the type of person I am. So it got me thinking. Okay, for the Stogie Geek se segment, why, why don't we talk about mm -hmm. some leather cases? Because I'll tell you, if you go, if you just throw in Google cigar leather cases, I mean, if your mouth does not water <laughs> and stuff like that, there's so many options. And I want to take some time and 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 go through those options. It's a classic, cool, uh, different, uh, different gift, and you know, the small accounts, three to six, right? In the pocket, like you said, right? Um, yeah, you look like a champ. You bust out one of those things, uh, right? At an event somewhere, right? And 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 to me, they're practical because obviously, I'm I'm gonna have a cigar pretty much every and anywhere and everywhere I go. Yep. You know what I mean? So the day is uh, the day's uh, tailored to <laughs> cigar smoking and you know, all it encompasses. Yeah. Right. But before we get to that, why don't we talk about the, the the stick that we enjoyed for the last segment and for this segment here? So we're currently smoking the Sereno Royale Medio, uh, the five and three quarter by fifty four. It's a petite sublime. Uh, Habano 2000 seed Ecuadorian Habano Claro. Um, 
I'm really digging this uh, particular steak. Mm -hmm. Graham cracker notes, sweetness, and uh, a little bit of a little bit of spice. It kind of bounces around uh, for me. Nice complexity and flavor, and uh, I'm digging it. It's a win. Yeah, complexity, balance, flavor. No, no it's all balance, right there for sure. You yeah. know, it's 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 all right there. It, it, it's given me that after. Now that we're m m more than halfway Mild through. Mild to medium in strength. It's not overpowering. It, it's a nice uh, nice first stick of the day. Right. But it's given me that I'm digging this stick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it, it's a really good stick available at your local uh, re retail tobacconist. Um, we are having Carson on the show. Carson Serino, I'm looking forward to getting that interview uh, is, is, as well. It's a, it's a fascinating uh, story. I've, I've, had, I've, I've had a bunch of his, uh, his, his lines so far. And I'm, and then I'm that's digging. family that's been in the cigar biz for, uh, for a while. Yeah. And uh, he's got a nice story to tell. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm certainly digging it. And, you know, it, it, the, the local tobacconist that I frequent, they're, you know, uh, they're, they're already the, uh, the Maduro. Uh, the the what Maduro is it? double X the double X Maduro yes. is is often dubbed as JoJo's boys smoke. Uh, that's a, <laughs> that's, that's a, JoJo's boys smoke. That's he a likes game that, changer you know? stick right it, there. It, it's 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 uh, it's it's just a good smoke, you yeah. know. But this here, um, I'm I'm getting a sweetness. I'm getting a little bit of cedar, and uh, uh, it's it, it's it's awesome. Like I said, balance and flavor is in and complexity is just all right there for sure. Nope, it's good at all. Nice uh, nice draw. Solid amount of smoke uh, production and uh, constructed well too. Right. Nice. Well, the V cut. I've uh, recently transitioned to the V cut versus straight. I've been cutting straight for uh, like six years and uh, mm -hmm. making a page out of your book. I'm I'm really digging the the V cut. Yeah, I usually try to V a bullet like first if, if the cigars uh, uh, cosmetics allow it to. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. You know, uh, obviously I'm not gonna uh, uh, pull punch, uh, hole punch a, uh, a torpedo. No. You know what I mean? Yep. But uh, you know, uh, I I would you know definitely uh, if if you get into the different cuts and that and that might be a good segment for later on in Absolutely. the series. There oh, yeah. is talk about the different cuts uh, and and whatnot. I should probably include that. Um, Within our stogies of the week, which which will be the next segment too, like if we recutted it and and stuff like that, to right. to kind of let the the consumer know set the um, whole stage, yeah, top, top to bottom, yeah, in in there. But now a couple of days ago, full disclosure, Joe D and I uh, knew that we would be hosting the show, um, and we were talking, uh, thinking about a topic. And uh, have you given it any thought about the leather cases component? Have you even thrown it into Google or no? I know you're not a computer guy, but have you? I haven't because <laughs> I, I, I know me. I, I uh, get obsessive about certain things, and I know I'm just going to dig in, and I'm going to see, you know, see a ton of product that I like, jump all over it. I'm trying to be uh, trying to be mindful of the holidays coming up and uh, sure. not go overboard of myself, but I certainly, I certainly want one. I want to be able to pull it out of a jacket pocket somewhere. It, it, it's nice. It's classy. It, uh, it serves a purpose well, mm -hmm. and there's... A ton of phenomenal product that's out there now. So right, and and with the internet, I mean, of course, you know, if you can go to your local retailer, mm -hmm. check them out, see what see what they got. Chances are, I know if you go to your local retailer here in the province metro, products have been sitting on the shelf in regards to accessories, really, right. um, just a little bit longer than need be. But yep. that, but that's a that, that's a business presentation problem. True. With within the retailers, you know, um, there. My opinion, um, there. The, the opinions reflected in this do not respect uh, the opinions <laughs> of, their, of Stogie Geeks, its management, and or its staff. This is coming from me, you know. But you know, uh, you know, it's, it's one, it's it, it's one of those things where you know, if you go to your local tobacconist, let them know, uh, him or her know that that you know you're you're into considering, and, and and they may make you an offer that is less than the sticker price that that you see there. Right. You know, especially if they know that you're going to get something and then to to enjoy it. And again, kind of like Cigar Oasis, if you were to make an investment there, if you were to get into a leather case, it's kind of like an investment. You know, you know how each show seems to have a theme. Right. That's the shit. That, that's episode 251's theme is the kind of like the investment part of, of that. You know, if you buy yourself a case, you know, you, you're, you're going to reuse it you know, for, for, for years, right. you know, or if you have any uh, family members who they, they probably have it like upstairs in the attic 
do some digging. You know what That's I mean? It. If you're going to your, you know, if you're going to your grandma's house over <laughs> over for holiday, go up in the attic. You never know what you'll find. Treasures. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> treasures, right? <laughs> That's uh, Hiam's uh, uh, word, but you know, I think we're we're gonna commandeer. Oh yeah, that word for <laughs> sure. You know, so so you you just gave it some thought, but you you didn't actually motivate yourself to to go in and say I want brand X or whatever. For me, I, I want to have the uh, I want to have that time allotted to just really really go through and uh, and pick it apart. And I'm excited to uh, to hear all you have to say about it today. So I want you to sell me on the leather case. Well, I, I don't I'm know. I'm already excited like, anyway. But. Like 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 here's my thought process. Right, I remember when I started smoking cigars. I believe that there's a point that every um, uh, cigar consumer who really gets into going to the lounge mm-hmm. or um, getting a group of friends and having a cigar in their garage or a couple of Story Geeks listeners who like to uh, smoke cigars around uh, high military equipment because they're defending our country, right? There you go. Whatever the case may be... you. You collect some sort of a collective thought on number one, what what you're smoking, but number two, like keeping a, a keeping a journal. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you ha- or at least saving the label, right? Saving the label. If if you if I would open up my wallet, I have two labels in there because they're they're two. It, it's like my to do list. You know what I mean? Every time I go into my wallet, oh, I gotta get to that. I gotta get to that because there there are two brands that I'm actually hunting. Right, and so that being said, you know, there's some sort of a collective. It doesn't have to be physically right into a journal, but actually, if you have kept a cigar journal and you want to talk about that, all you got to do is go to Joe H at StogieGeeks.com, flash me an email, let me know your story. I will get, return back to the listeners, and so they can say, okay, Joe is the only crackpot in the whole cigar <laughs> world who kept a journal in the beginning. You know what I mean, I, or, or or that, and you know. I, I, from a business perspective, you've seen me yep. in business action. I walk around with with a little black book anyway. Right. And then in there, I actually have taped different labels of stuff. Like I'm like, man, you got you got to hold on to this. Either I like the artwork, yep. or the uh, brand has swept me off my feet, or stopped me in my tracks and stuff like that. So so there has to be some sort of a a cigar journal collection, whatever level it may be. Let us know, Joe H at dot com. I will. Physically show the email to Joe D because he's not technically there. He does have a Story Geeks email, but he never uses it. We 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 gotta change that in 2018 when we do our New Year's resolutions thing. That that has gotta be you know coming soon on episode where are we four more five episode 260 maybe give right. or take yep. right. Uh, it will be New Year's resolutions. We have gotta get you to to go online and post your sticks. I'm signed up. I just never uh, I no time. No time. I'll find time. I'll okay, make time. I appreciate that. You know, New Year's resolution. I want to get back to me. Me personally, with the other uh, journal, the first two years of smoking, um, I was all about it. Completely geeked out over the uh, taking the notes. Really enjoyed that active, uh, active learning, relearning, uh, <laughs> jotting all the notes down and certain blends. And it, it, for me, it was to keep track of what had been spoken and you know maybe uh, tendencies towards uh, different, different. Uh, you know, rappers and blend profiles and all that. And uh, I did cycle back after about two years. I, I kind of discontinued it because the only negative I, I could I could put to it is uh, you're taken away from that relaxing cigar lounge experience or wherever you're at. If you're, you're constantly toggling back and forth, putting the stick down. I, I Yo, man, up, don't talk to me. I'm in my journal. Right. <laughs> I'm in the zone. <laughs> don't bother me, chief. And, uh, I'm articulating the earthiness from this leather component. But going back, at, you know, after those couple of years and, uh, and, and you know, uh, checking back up on those notes, um, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, you know, I would have liked to continue it all the way through, but I think my, uh, my cigar progression and, and learning had changed, and there's just so many, but I would definitely advise it for uh, newer smokers. Um, yeah, it's a nice, nice avenue to start with, and uh, uh, to really hone in what you're, uh, what you're all about, what you're excited about. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and 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 again, it's amazing. Like when you go through any journal process, and not that I'm turning this into a holistic experience here at, at Story Geeks, yep. you go through. Wow, like I really like that cigar then, and and I might because you have palate change or. Maybe in the industry they call all it palate development. All it. You know what I mean? Yep. Your, your, your palate develops. I mean, there was a time where, you know, I, I when I first started, I would shy away from the Maduros. 
And then there's a time when, oh, I only like Maduros because they're stronger, which is, you know, myth. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and stuff like that. And you get caught up in that mix and you go back and forth. But, you know, I, I, sizing of the sticks, too. You know, going back, yep. I was, I was you know, of the larger ring gauges, I, I, I tended towards, uh, you know, the stronger sticks. I've since completely flip flopped it. You know, I really enjoy the, uh, the smaller ring gauge stuff now. Mm-hmm. Some of the lighter stuff, there's, there's enjoyment to be had in all, in all facets. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So without further ado, okay, I have pulled up a, uh, uh, some, some cool, uh, some, some cool um, images of some cases that I like. So can we pan in on me? Thank you, maybe, all right? See this here? All right, okay, all right. What I like about this here is you have a zipper component, mm-hmm. right? So you can keep labels and some loose stuff, you know, maybe loose yep. change or whatever, maybe, you know. Maybe or, a draw poker, a small one? Draw, well, well pff, I, I'm, I'm, I'll throw the cigar out and complain about it for six months. Right. So I, you do not want to give... Joe Hosempa or Joe Hollywood as says in this show a bad cigar because I will be like that's a cigar and, you know but anyway what what I like about this here this is called what is this called right this is called the uh, British Puro Prestige and it's the Hemingway edition travel case you can get it over in cigarjournal.com you can check it out over there. It's got a zipper component, but it's also got a four place for the cigars that holds four cigars, right? But it's got a cedral lined. They're individually partitioned. It can fit up to a Churchill size cigar. You could stick a Gordo in there if you want to. Sure, right? You stick a Gordo in there, and um, and then it, it closes, and then so you you only carry four, but you have them in cedar, right? Right, which. I don't know. I th- I think it, it offers a pretty cool touch. It looks like from the picture, it's got a place to hold your torch lighter. It's got a place to hold a bullet cut. It's got a place to hold a um, like a a, a regular cutter, and it's got a three card business card holder, which is like epic. You know what Joey's I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you know, excuse me while I whip this out. Right? <laughs> this is my card, right? You know, and and I don't know. I, I think it's a nice touch. Maybe if you're gonna go smoke with friends and, and you're like you know, say for example, you're gonna go smoke with some, some friends that you you know either uh, high school buddies, college buddies, people you see once a year or whatever, and you know there's gonna be four of you. It's a nice touch. I think I think it adds to the experience there. A couple special um, sticks in there for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. Uh, if you want to get rowdy. Which I've been known to get rowdy a couple of times, right? We all do. If you want to get rowdy, this is the uh, Castano Cigar Leather Case by Peter James Leather Company. Now, I must warn you, anything by Peter James Leather Company is going to tack on some price. However, uh, I'm going to show this to you again. We're going to pan in on this. Hold on. I'm just trying to get it all uh, featured here. All right. This right here. Is my my choice. You ready? Drum roll, please. Right? Oops. Oh, here we go. Right? Okay. So if you look at that, it can hold. If you if you don't do any gordos, it can hold five there. Has a leather pouch in there. Flaps over leather. Looks awesome. Has a pen holder in the middle. Zips around so it stays. It stays. It stays there. It's crush proof. So if you stick it in your Leather bag or satchel, business wise, what I have, you Rules have. Rules off the ass press, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, absolutely. It's got a, a, a two card business holder, so you can still whip it out, mm-hmm. right? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> right? Cigars, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You can still whip out your business card. It's got a place for a cutter, a lighter, a bullet punch, and if you if you get creative enough and put a piece of cedro on the Flap, hold on. You see the flap? Where am I? Can it switch to me? No, wait a minute. Camera one. You see the two. flap right on that side? Yep. If you put a piece of ce- if you put a piece of cedar right on that side over there, I know this is weird, right? Because we're getting reflection and all that. I don't know. This is my technological lead. De- I'm delivering this, right? <laughs> I probably should have pulled it up on a computer, but you know, it would have been easier on, on, on Paul's computer, but that's okay. We're doing it old school. If you put a piece of cedro in there. Crust proof. Guess what? It's got room for a flask. Yep. 
Right. So, I mean, you know, again, you know, if you go to a, a, a BYOB establishment, right, you, you can, you know, you, you, you can uh, definitely taste away and golf and, outing, and, you know, uh, little, uh, yeah. you know, golf outing and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely a uh, a, a, a win win uh, over there. Um, looking at that what there was was from the uh, Peter James. Uh, again, We're talking uh, price point wise. Uh, three three twenty nine for the second one. Okay. And uh, two hundred one for, for for the first one. You know, clearly novelty item. But for sure. Yep. Put it in perspective, right? Instead of buying a box that that month, like if you if you're on a cigar budget, which yep. price is definitely a factor, especially when when it comes to to the consumers, right? right? If 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 you're on a, a a budget for whatever whatever your budget is, don't buy a box that that month if you're really into it. Because it's going to last you longer than the box. And quite frankly, if you find it at your local retailer, you could probably get five free cigars uh, with, <laughs> with, the, with the purchase if, if you work out on the owner. You know what I mean? You know? One of those nice family heirlooms that you pass down to. Yeah, right. right. Pretty, be uh, like, you know. But some of the more, more calming ones uh, there, you know, you got the uh, Brown Churchill two cigar leather case. Those are the ones that actually mm-hmm. fit within, with, with, within your pocket. You can pick those up for 40 bucks. Right. You know what I mean? You you can pick them up for forty bucks. Let me tell you something. They 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 last forever. Um, one thing I thought which was pretty cool here, uh, twenty four ninety nine. Okay, uh, I gotta hold on. How do I? Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to. For twenty four ninety nine, it's a little pixelated, but that's okay. Look at this. For twenty four ninety nine, right? It's that Cedro component, leather on the outside, covers there, and then snaps, right? Four sticks. Four sticks, and oh. it's Cedro component, and then it, it's there. So I mean, you know, you, you, the, the 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 point of this segment here is. It's all over the map in price, right? It's all over the map in price. You go online, you can do some some pretty good research. I like the whole zip up component, yep. but that's for twenty four ninety nine. You're going in with four sticks. Okay, so what? You have to have your lighter in your pocket. Who cares? And you don't have your business cards uh, with you with you in there. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Right. You have your business cards in your wallet or whatever. It's a good little. It's a good little component that I think. No longer are you transporting pocketed sticks that you may. <laughs> inadvertently crush and it you know it, it looks it looks cool looks cool as hell it's a game changer you come in you bust one of those things out this guy clearly means business he knows what he's talking about even if he doesn't you know <laughs> nothing drives me crazy right obviously uh you know my day job i have a business and you know i, I in walks the business owner and and he has his ziploc <laughs> that he got from the thing right. like what are they because i honestly think that um Cigar consumers who frequent the lounge a lot, especially me, and what I see from either working in one or having owned one is that, you know, the, there might be some indecisive consumers that know that they're, they're going to the lounge right. and they bring five or six sticks to the shop that they, either they bought at the shop or they'll, they'll either smoke that one and buy another one and, right. do, and do that, you know, and, and whatnot, you know, to, to, to keep the peace, which I think is a smart move and not a... A, a, a jerk move by bringing. Oh, you gotta pay cigar. tribute to the shop. That's, yeah, that's absolutely. Sure. But yeah. but you know, if you're like me, like I know I'm gonna go to the shop and I, I I feel like this, whatever X is, I feel like having this right now. You know, I like to open up and and have options. Right. You know what I mean? The same thing. If you look at the humidor in my golf bag, because I have a humidor in my golf bag, I have the the one I told you about with right. the backpack. Yep. I have the humidor in my office. I have a 1950s vintage copper lined, um, uh, what is this tabletop t- t- tabletop yep. humidor yep. in my office? I mean, I got cigars; they're just they're just hanging everywhere. You know what I mean? And 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 but I like to but have on options. your person to have that four or five stick option that you know, <laughs> tailor made for that day. <laughs> yep. That you know that spoken experience. Yeah. You know, like I have the four or five sticks in my regular leather messenger bag that I carry around for business that I, you know, but, but I like options because sometimes it's like, oh, I want to get to that. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I have an awesome Davidoff year of the rooster, right? I've been carrying this thing. I've been carrying this thing around for me with, with me for two weeks now, right? And I just haven't got to it yet. And it's like, well, wait a minute. You haven't got to it? No, because that's a cigar. 
obviously, I'm going to talk about here on the Story Geek Show when we have the stick of the week. Right. But I want to, like, allocate, like, the time for that cigar. You know what I mean? It's the right form. Right, yeah. You know, and there is sometimes, you know how your day is going and, you know, you've got your personal stuff that you're going through. That you know you, you you might not just get to it or or like that's a cigar that I want to sit down and have my undivided attention. Absolutely, you know what I mean. And 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 I mean I could go on for for days with the leather cases, you know. But I think honestly, getting back to the Stogie Geek segment, I think it's a good investment. Um, it's 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 it, 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 it's a good investment. It's a good idea. I think it adds to, especially if you're, you know, you're frequenting with with friends and you go to like a backyard barbecue, and and stuff like that. It just adds a little bit of um, of flavor to the uh, treasures right. that you're about to consume. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Because because I honestly think that you know when we have cigars. Um, whether you're at friends or family or celebratory or daily basis or at a lounge, you go through a ritual. You know, you go through you go through an, uh, a, oh, a, a very a observance. Yep. You know, so I know we do when when we're when we're talking about the uh, sticks of the week. We we go through okay, it's observe is the size. Uh, we get notions in our head. I like the size, don't like the size. Here we go. I've heard yep. this story about this cigar. I've heard that story. You know, and 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 we try to set those aside. Yep. Then we cut. Then we light. And then you know, and we go. Uh, you know, sometimes I cut light phone rings. Cut light email. You know what I mean? <laughs> cut light phone rings, email, text. You know, <laughs> you know, and, and or you know, life gets in the way. Yeah. But I yep. think that you know you you always feel yourself for a treat, and 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 that and if I had to sell you, that that would be my take. You you'd be making an investment, and you would owe it to yourself for a treat to uh, go out there and 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 you know and just treat yourself to to something that 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 you might use. Absolutely, could be off my rocker, but you know there's a market for it for sure. It is. You know, so you sold. I'm definitely sold, they, and it's a nice tie-in with the uh, the journals as well. Yeah. What do you think you would get if you would you get like a zipper one? I think I'd uh, I'd probably opt for like a five count. Yep. Zippered. Uh, be able to you know hold the lighter. Maybe a couple uh, couple different cutters in there as well. Yep. And uh, yeah, just something uh, nice and classy, and you can, you can have for a bunch of years. And Business enjoy. cards. Absolutely. Keep yeah. your Serenos and Southern drawers in yeah, those too. Yeah, well played. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. There you go. Stay tuned. We got the sticks of the week coming right up.